go ahead and take a live look at our Carolina oceans here. This is a live look over Wrightsville Beach, just seeing some people take advantage of the nice weather. Let's bring in meteorologist Andrew Brightman with a look at our forecast much further inland. And also, Andrew, not too bad of a weekend to head to the beach. Yeah, if you don't obviously mind a little bit of the smoky sky still sticking around here, Annie, but temperature is going to be moving up and for the most part going to stay dry over the weekend. But it will start to feel like summer out there right now though you still see can see those hazy skies across uptown Charlotte 75 degrees as you're walking out the door northerly winds at nine miles an hour that helps to bring in the lower humidity really make it feel wonderful outside the smoky skies though notwithstanding sat rat it's quiet across the Carolinas we zoom out this cold front that we see now extending into the deep south this highlights a trough across the eastern third of the country it does two things first it brings in all that wildfire smoke from Canada but second it really helps to lower the humidity and it's not feeling like now the early to middle part of June across the Carolinas with that very low humidity. Unfortunately, it's not going to be sticking around terribly long. Temperatures right now across the Carolinas, a lot of low and mid 70s out there, even towards the coast temperatures in the lower 70s. So as Annie was talking about this weekend, probably going to be a better day to get out into the water. Only 63 degrees right now in Boone. When we talk about air quality, we still have the code orange, but right now, all the air quality across the Carolinas either good or just moderate. So really just the most sensitive groups need to think about maybe limiting their time outside. But once we get farther off to the north around my hometown of Philadelphia, they have very unhealthy air quality and also some parts of eastern and central PA actually have hazardous where the air QI is over 300. A little bit improved across New York, but they still have unhealthy and very unhealthy air quality conditions. Now when we talk about the wildfire smoke here across the Carolinas today. It's going to be somewhat improved as we get into your Friday. We're going to see more start to push back into the Carolinas and we're going to see our air quality head downhill again. So just something to be aware of if you're going to be out and about tomorrow. Those sensitive groups definitely want to think about trying to limit your time outside future cast as we go through your Thursday evening when we just talk about the weather aspect of this going to be looking good overnight heading into your Friday morning. More fabulous weather on tap for the Carolinas, though it will start to heat up a little bit tomorrow. 1045 up to the 70 degree mark and then likely moving up into the lower 80s. Once we get into the afternoon, wouldn't be shocked if someone pushes up towards the mid 80s by the time it's all said and done. Weekend forecast watching some late afternoon storms start to push in with our next weather maker likely to continue into early next week. I'll talk more about that coming up a little bit later on in the hour. Muggy meter. This is something I'm not looking forward to. It's going to really start to feel humid later on this weekend and likely going to be continuing through at least the middle part of next week. That's just what happens when we get to June across the mid south temperatures over the next 12 hours again push up to right around the 80 degree mark or so before dipping down into the lower 60s. Low temperatures will get down in the low to mid 50s for many of us across the Carolina It's going to be feeling really really nice tonight getting down maybe even into the upper 30s at Beach Mountain out the door tomorrow. Temperatures are going to warm up quickly, though still a very pleasant start before we head up into the 80s during the afternoon up to 83 in Charlotte, still right around the 70 degree mark as we look up into the mountains. Your pinpoint five day and seven day forecast should be fine for the Charlotte FC game on Saturday. We're watching Sunday into Monday for our next chance of some showers and storms, Annie.